Michigan lawmakers are considering AI safeguard bills to prevent technology from committing harm as artificial intelligence is rapidly improving quicker than the government is able to regulate it. Daniel Croft, senior researcher at the Center for AI Risk Management and Alignment, told members of the State House Judiciary Committee that AI is a great tool likely to strengthen top economic sectors in Michigan, like agriculture and manufacturing, but without mandates for risk management protocols, AI's ability to problem solve and come up with solutions could lead to cyber attacks that endanger human life and the environment. Croft provided an example where some advanced AI models will resort to exploiting cyber vulnerabilities to hack their opponent when given the mandate to win a game of chess. He continued by sharing, hacking to win a chess is almost funny, but it's much less funny when our healthcare and industrial control systems are on the other side of the board. Whether it's bad actors using AI for nefarious purposes to AI itself making an ultimately detrimental decision, Croth argued that there's a need for guardrails on this technology so Michiganders can experience the best it has to offer while managing the worst. And I think every state needs this, really. So Johannes, can you tell us who House Bill 4668 will target and the penalties that it proposes? Um, so HB 4668 would apply specifically to the largest developers of so-called foundation models in, and in practice, those companies vesting over 100 million annually in AI model development or at least 5 million in a single model. Under the proposal, it becomes a felony with mandatory prison time to misuse these systems. Anyone who creates, possesses or operates an AI with criminal intent faces an eight-year sentence and disusing such a system for another criminal's use carries a four-year term. HB 4668 being considered by the committee would create the Artificial Intelligence Safety and Security Transparency Act, mandating large developers of foundation models to create and implement protocols for safety and security to prevent critical risk, meaning any risk that would result in a serious harm or death of more than 100 people or cause more than 100 million in damages. In short, it zeroes in on deep-pocketed AI labs and attaches stiff penalties to any effort to weaponize their technology. That's intense. <laughs> but I think that something like that needs to be in place for all states, really.